Hi, this is Kelly with Possibilities in Pink. Um, this is just a little video on some of the storage tips and ideas that I have and some that I found on the internet. Um, on my blog, Possibilities in Pink, I recently had a blog candy and part of the criteria to enter was to give your favorite storage tip. I'm going to start with stickles. This is what I store my stickles in. It looks like a little honeycomb pot actually. If you take them all out, it looks like honeycomb. Um, I purchased this, I believe, on customcrops.com. Uh, um, the next thing I have is I had a horrible time trying to store small clear stamps. So my sister gave me this idea because her husband used to collect baseball cards. And these are the sheets that you can buy at Staples. Oh, this book's big. Sorry about the glare. Um, it holds nine baseball cards in each slate, each page. And what I did is I just store my small, you know, dollar store, Joanne, Dollar Bin, Michaels, AC Moore, dollar stamps. And I leave the plastic on both sides and I store them in here. I've categorized them. I haven't put the labels on yet. These are ones that I purchased offline that I had to mount myself. So I just took and stamped it on the piece of cardstock, labeled what it is, cheese wedge. Um, on the back it says clear dollar stamps. That's where I got this. And by stamping it, you can still pull off your stamp on the back, but it stores with the picture because it doesn't have the uh, acetate card with it with the black ink outline of what it is. So that came in handy for these. And it gives me room to write who it's from. If I have to use their angel policy, I know who to give credit to. So there's just lots of random ones. I also store my magnolias in here. I don't have many yet, but because that really isn't going to tell me what it looks like, I just printed her out, put it on top, and I believe that was Princess Tilda, by the way. So, and I have plenty of room in the back for more. I have some different sets from Stamp of the Month Club. So that, it really comes in handy. It's easy storage. It does get a little heavy. So I use a large rubber band just to keep the pages up and even in there. I also use the smaller binders for my pink stampers, my pink stamper stamp sets that I have. Um, I have the larger ones in a bigger binder because they don't fit in the small 5x7 sleeves. And I keep my Peach King face stamp sets in here as well. So that, and I did put a larger card that I have of theirs on it. I just keep the original card with it so it says what it is. Um, the smaller cards I just tape down on a larger piece of cardstock to keep it right in the middle on that. Then we have a 4x6 plastic container that you would keep pictures in. I got these at Joann's, they're like $1.99 each. And I just keep my cosmetic sponges and my sponge daubers in here. Really stain. We have that. Um, my Copics. I saw this um, Canadian scrapper maybe, I'm not sure who, used one of these tins that you get for picnics or picnic tables. It stores your napkins, your silverware. Um, I'm storing my Copics in it currently. Um, as it gets larger, I might need a second one, but I like it because it's handy and I can eventually, you know, put dividers in here and move out the colors, but I usually pick out what I want. It's fairly easy. In here I have all my uh, Sephora Jelly Roll pens, so they're all in the same spot. And so I have the Sparkle, the Glaze, and Souplés in there. Now, I just found this on allthatscraps.com. I had to be put on the waiting list to be notified when it came in, but it's a Copic swatch book. And I used to keep track of all my Copics in my little book. It tells me, you know, what uh, embossing folders I have. I have embossing folders, um, small, medium, and large, 
Sizzix cuddle bug, various borders, stamps, um, a place for my punches, my jelly roll pens, my prism pencils, my Copics, uh, my Cricut cartridges, and my Cricut Imagine cartridges. So when I go shopping, I take this book with me normally so I don't end up with doubles. But this <clears throat> is great if I'm looking for shaded families because it's a swatch book. You just color in, in between, and they're all done in color families. So this whole line right here is a color family that goes together. So it's great for your shading and blending to know which colors go with which. It has all the current colors and it comes with this checkbook style divider so that when you're coloring in with your marker, it doesn't go through to the next page, it just goes on there. Um, I think they were $6.99, $7.99, well worth it. Heavy duty cardstock, love it. Uh, my embossing folders. I don't really have a great storage tip for these. It's more of a, a labeling system. Got some new ones I haven't labeled yet. But what I did is I took a pink Sharpie and I've just labeled them randomly as, this is a Sizzix Large One, so it's SL1. And in my book, my corresponding book, it tells me which one that is. So if I go to Sizzix Large, oop, I opened right up to it, SL1, it's the thank you um, in an ornate frame on wide strip. And the reason why it doesn't have the actual name of the folder is I threw away the packaging before I started this system. So I just kind of describe what it is. And I've done that with my Sizzix, my large, medium, and small. Like these are the small Sizzix folders. And I've also done it with the cuddle bugs, uh, um, which are out of order. So, and I have extra large for the larger uh, embossing folders they've come out with that are more like a five by seven size, like these, the cuddle bug. I call these extra large. So I have CXL1, cuddle bug extra large one. <coughs> I can just go to my book. Cuddle bug extra large one uh, fancy bees all over design so it's not a great storage concept I have in this box because they're not really out but it is a great way to know what you have when you go shopping because you can't take your whole craft room with you and I have purchased doubles in the past and that gets to be pricey and if I don't have the receipt it's a big pain to exchange um, next, I have how I store my buttons. I got these containers at Walmart. And this one just has a pop lid. Some of them have the canister flip top, which I'll show you in a minute. And I just stored all my buttons in here. You can kind of dig through it, and it's a great way to store them. You can see what's in there. If you want, you can use the top to pour them out into. And they're shatterproof, so if it, for some reason it falls off my shelf, I don't have a problem. And I just store my shank cutters right on top of it on the shelf. Then my flowers are in a similar canister style. And I have paper, fabric, um, mixed uh, types. So the smaller canister, I have my paper ones because I don't use a lot of paper flowers. I don't really like the paper flowers as much, believe it or not. I like the silk ones. So I stored those in there. And I have three or four canisters right now going. And I just kind of paw through it. it. These are really stuffed in there. I need to get another one so I can uh, separate the colors out better and not have them so jammed. These are, I think this was $5.97 for the smaller and uh, $6.97 for the large. Uh, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's this cool pink uh, brandy decanter. It is glass, so this one is breakable. And what I do is I store, not brandy, 
all my bling in there. So all my acrylic gems, um, not the high grade quality because I don't have as many of them. This was a, like a $15 container of the uh, bling that I got there for $7.50. I had a 50% off coupon. And then I saw this gorgeous container and I thought, well, that will be pretty snazzy. So that's how I store those. And it's pretty on my shelf too. The other stamps that I get in, sometimes I buy stamps. Uh, this one is Abigail Apple. It's uh, Crafting Kimmy Stamps, and I bought it on stampinbella.com. I took the CD cases, not the slim case that won't work. They came unmounted, so I mounted them on the foam. They stick in here great. I stamp the image on the top so that when I pull it out, I know exactly what's in there. And on the end, I just put Abigail Apple and crafting Kimmy stamps. I do not have a copy <clears throat> of their angel policy in here, although I am considering putting it on the inside cover, typing it in before I put it in there. Because uh, as my collection grows, I'm not going to be able to remember everybody's angel policy by looking at the stamp. Pictures of projects. I don't like to clutter up my computer, my memory, because when I go to edit DVDs, it makes it run really slow. I found this at Staples. Um, if you watch my videos, you've seen me do a little blog point to him. He is actually, a little piggy, is my 4 gig memory card. And I store all the pictures of my projects made for my blog on here. So if I ever want to go back and look at my pictures, if I'm not home, if I travel, um, I just stick them in my purse and I've got all my images. Now we have Cricut storage next. These are phenomenal. I got them at AC Moore. They're by Artvin. They're $19.99. I got mine on sale with a 40 or 50% off coupon. And it stores 16 Cricut cartridges. I do mine alphabetically. And then it stores your overlay in your handbook. Um, I have a Cricut Expression 2. So I really don't need the overlays, but I really love my Cricut Expression original, so I tend to use that as well. Then we have my favorite storage tip is my spice rack. And that is phenomenal. It's a spice rack I got with spices. My husband and I cleaned them all out, took the little uh, doohickey uh, grater holes on top off, and I store them by color. So here are my blues, here are my reds, my pinks. Down here I had some extra ones, so I have um, all my cupcake brads, all my uh, bugs and flower brads, my girly girl black brads as I call these and just miscellaneous. It was 1997. It's a Lazy Susan style and it is great. Does not take up a lot of counter space. Now, for what I found today, I've been looking for a way to store my ink pads. I went to a neighbor's garage sale and I got a actual Napa Valley box made by the Napa Valley box company. It's really cool. I don't think you can see all of it, but it has lots of little already pre-made slidey holes. These slide right in. It works perfect. Just label the ends and life is good. So because it's an antique, I'm not going to paint this pink, even though I want to. Um, but I'm going to leave it natural for the time being. And my find of the day is going to be this. I found it at Kmart. It is a scotch tape dispenser and it's a one hand one. I got this because this is great for my pink stamp for Robin. If you take it, push it down, pull up on the thing and it cuts the tape for you. One handed for Robin's cheater method to put your ribbon on your cards. So hope everyone enjoyed my little tips. If you have any ideas, leave me a comment letting me know what they are. And I'll have another video soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. Bye.